Uh, when we started Critical Alarms Lab, our main focus was on uh, the problems that alarms cause in intensive care units. We have come up with three different solutions to reduce the number of alarms as well as to provide a healthier auditory environment for the inhabitants of the intensive care unit. Altimo is a silent monitor by default. So when the patient is alone in the room, the patient monitor will not uh, trigger any alarms. But if uh, the clinician enters the room, then the Altimo will become active and alive and uh, trigger alarms when necessary. But if there's a family, we provide them little information by showing them uh, only the heart rate. Kertins was a graduation project by Kunt Bochers, and what we did was to understand an excessive number of alarms. We thought, what can we do with these excessive alarms and can we turn them into music? And that uh, every patient would be represented by their own musical composition. So what we also did uh, is to provide musical updates as a real actual working tool for the, for the nurses that when the parameter changes, we hear the sound not alarming, but as a musical way of updating the information. Nurses, by way of uh, care activities towards the patient, also contribute to the uh, sound level. What Doppler does is um, collects uh, dB data uh, and we categorize that dB data into sound producing events and these sound producing events then become actual uh, interactive painting on the wall. What um, we provide nurses is a very subtle way of warning whether or not the intensive care unit is, has a healthy auditory environment or it has a hostile auditory environment. What we want to do is to involve every stakeholder uh, right in the beginning of the decision-making process and understand what it, what it takes to make a medical innovation. The projects that we do at Critical Alarms Lab are also a very good example of how a technical school can collaborate together with a medical school and that the synergy between these schools can provide multiple opportunities for innovation.